Hey guess whaters, welcome to Hey Guess What? In today's video, we're going to learn about the circulatory system, which is super important because it helps to keep you alive. So if you're interested in learning all about the circulatory system and how it works, make sure to stay tuned to this video. And before we start, also make sure to subscribe and hit that thumbs up button. Are you ready? Cool, let's begin. The body's circulatory system is responsible for carrying materials through your entire body. These include nutrients, water, plus oxygen to billions of your body cells, and they carry away waste like carbon dioxide that the body cells generate. Think of it like an incredible highway system that travels through your entire body connecting all your body cells. The heart and all your blood vessels make up the circulatory system. The flow of blood through the heart and around the body is called circulation, and it takes less than one minute to pump blood to every cell in your body. Believe it or not, your heart is actually a muscle, and your heart is located slightly to the left of your middle chest, and your heart is about the size of your fist. And even though there are lots of different muscles all over your body, the heart is unique because of what it does. The heart is what sends blood all throughout your body. The blood gives your body the oxygen and nutrients it needs as well as carries away waste. And your heart is similar to a pump, actually two pumps in one. The right side of your heart collects blood from the body and pumps it into the lungs. The left side of your heart does the opposite. The left side receives blood from the lungs, then pumps it out to the body. You probably figured that once it leaves the heart, that your blood doesn't just splash around inside your body. The blood actually moves through a lot of tubes called arteries and veins. These are actually called blood vessels. And these blood vessels are attached to your heart. Blood vessels that carry blood away from your heart are called arteries. And blood vessels that bring blood back to your heart are called veins. And your body needs this steady amount of blood to keep it working well. Blood delivers oxygen to all the body cells. Without this oxygen circulating in your body, your cells would die. It's the left side of your heart that sends this oxygen-rich blood out to the body. And the body removes the oxygen out of the blood using it for your body cells. The cells use the oxygen and then produce carbon dioxide plus other material that gets transported away by the blood. The blood that returns enters the right side of the heart. The carbon dioxide is removed and sent out of the body when we exhale. As we inhale and exhale, the process starts all over again each time. And remember, this all happens in about 60 seconds. So now you might be wondering, well, how does the heart beat? Well, like we talked about earlier, before each beat, your heart fills with blood. Then the muscle contracts to squirt the blood along. When the heart contracts, it squeezes. It's like making your hand into a fist. That's kind of like what your heart does so it can squirt out the blood. And your heart does this all day and all night, all the time. In fact, during the average lifetime, the human heart will beat two and a half to three billion times. And it averages about 70 to 80 beats every minute. And your heart is made of four chambers. There are two upper chambers and two lower chambers that your blood needs inside your heart. Running down the middle of your heart is a thick wall of muscle called the septum. And the septum's job is to separate the left side and the right side of your heart. Blood enters the upper chambers. These chambers squeeze and push the blood into your heart's lower chambers, which then squeeze and push the blood out of your heart. Your heart has a left ventricle and a right ventricle, and they squirt the blood to the body and lungs. Two of your heart valves are the mitral valve and the tricuspid valve. They let blood flow from the atria to the ventricles. The other two are called the aortic valve and pulmonary valve. They control the flow as your blood leaves the heart. These valves all work together to keep your blood flowing forward. They open up allowing blood to move ahead, then they close quickly to keep the blood from flowing backward, kind of like a door. And did you know that your heart can beat for several minutes outside of your body? 
it will beat until it runs out of energy. And this is because your heart creates its own electrical signals. But as long as your heart continues receiving oxygen, it will keep going even if it gets separated from the rest of your body. And remember when we talked about blood vessels earlier? Well, did you know that if you laid out all of the arteries, capillaries, and veins from an adult, they would stretch about 60,000 miles or 100,000 kilometers? Not sure how long it is? Well, that means they could wrap around the planet Earth almost two and a half times. And the smallest of these blood vessels, called the capillaries, would be about 80% of that entire length. So what do you think? Now you know how important the heart and the circulatory system is to keep your body alive. We hope you learned a lot from this video. If you did, make sure you click that thumbs up button for us and don't forget to subscribe. And we'll see you on the next Hey Guess What.